Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This is an HP 240G9 model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the storage in here and how you can increase and what are the capacities that you can have in here. Just remember when you remove the storage in here, you have to uh, reinstall Windows, freshly install. Uh, I made a video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive, installation USB, I'll leave the link in the video description. Pretty much you just create it, put the new SSD, plug in, boot it up, it's going to detect the USB and it's going to take you through the Windows installation steps, which is really simple. And within five minutes, you are inside the desktop, few updates and you're ready to go. All right, but you can follow any of my Windows installation guide so you can have the best Windows installation so you don't have those bloatware installation uh, affiliated programs that they come with the Windows installation. So follow any of my Windows installation guide so you can have a cleaner Windows. All right, in this video, I'm just going to open it up and show you guys how to remove or add, um, remove the storage and upgrade the storage. You can also buy yourself an adapters um what's called external adapters to so you can use the old storage in here as an external um usb usb storage for your the daily use i'll leave those links in the video description all right so first thing first back up your files power it off flip it upside down and down here we're going to see only there is two screws available uh, visible all right we're going to grab ourselves the opening tool we are going to be using a I fix a screwdriver set, Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will give you an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab the basic set. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Also, I'll be using an alcohol isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol. It's handy. The reason is because this, under these rubbers, there is an uh, adhesive and there is a screw underneath. To remove this rubber, we're gonna put a little bit of alcohol over this rubber a little bit, like that. And we're gonna work ourselves on the in here with the opening tool. We're gonna squeeze it really deep underneath and we're gonna lift up this uh, rubber. This rubber has an adhesive. So as soon as you pull off, once the adhesive in the alcohol dries out, the adhesive becomes really sticky again. So keep it in one place. I'll put it right there beside it. All right, so there's one screw right there. Same thing on the back. Stick it in there and lift it up. You can do it without an alcohol, but sometimes it does get really hard to peel up. You want to peel up the adhesive tape too with the silicone. So peel that up too and put it to one side. All right, next we're going to remove the three screws at the back and the screw in here and two screws in the front end. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mix matching them. Just go ahead and remove them and keep them in a single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and support the channel to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Uh, all the screws under the rubber feet are the same. The screws in the front end, I forgot to mention, these are the short screws. So the two short screws in front and the rest are the same size and height. So two piles. All right. Next, we're going to grab ourselves the opening tool. We want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest. So we're going to open up a little bit right there on the palm rest and the bottom cover. So let's open up a little more. Right there. And then you just want to twist it. Do this once every few centimeters. Like that. Work yourself all around in the front end. Go towards the side. Towards the back corner. And by the USB ports here. And there we go. Now you can close it down, put it upside down, grab it from front end, put your hand under the palm rest, lift it up and down, wiggle it a little bit, and you're going to hear big click sounds coming from the back. Those are the clips are getting loose in the back end. 
and there we go. So down here we can see this. This was from the factory, nobody opened it before, so I see two RAM, different color RAM. So that's kind of weird. And we can see right away the S storage right in here. It's an NVMe. They do give you, a, I believe, 256 or 500 gig. This is a 500 gig storage. You can put it up to two terabyte with no problem. Even four terabyte by four terabyte wouldn't require a heat sink and there's no space to put a heat sink in here. But you can go up to two terabyte with no heat sink without any issues. So you don't need to remove the battery to do this upgrade. But if you want to remove the battery, there's one screw, two, three, four, four screws and then you can lift up the battery to disconnect the storage but you don't need to if you're careful just make sure you remove the screw in here and bring the screw over here and don't drop it over the motherboard and now the storage will come out in 45 degree angle you want to grab it in a 45 degree angle and you just want to slide it backward in a 45 degree angle right and this is just a western digital i believe brand you can put a samsung Evo 980, 990, two terabyte, whichever you want. These are the really durable, the pro versions. I recommend you these ones. And you can grab this one and grab a caddy. So you can use it as a portable storage. Just plug it in and put it inside the caddy. And now you have a USB-C, um, 500 gig storage, super fast. And then you can connect it to your laptop after installing the Windows and you can pull your file data from here to the new drive. Let's say that you got the new one in. The NVMEs, they have a little notch on them right here. You have to make sure the notch in here matches the notch right on the dim. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard. And this screw hole has to align. So what you want to do, you want to grab this screw, bring it over, and tighten up the screw right over like that. And there we go. Now you have an extra storage in here. There is a space for 2.5 inch storage in here, but you can put another two terabyte at the same time in here. But you can put a, they don't give you a caddy, but you can put a double side adhesive in here and put it in here. But you do need an adapter. It says hard drive HDD. There's a connector for it in here. You have to lift up this lever, this handle right here, and slide the connector in there. You can get these connectors. Uh, very cheap on Amazon. I will leave the link for this one. Pretty much you want to find these adapters. You want to plug it in, in here. This is not, the, they always have the same plugged in here. And the cable, you can move it around. And this one is a short cable. It has to connect right inside the jack. And you want to close it down. But this one is a bigger cable. So I have a whole bunch of them in here. You can find the right one for you. Uh, it's none of these ones. I'll try to get the link for a compatible one. And you can pretty much connect it and plug it in there. You can have extra storage in here if you want to. All right. But I guess two terabyte in here, that's more than enough. And once you finish with this one, you want to grab the bottom cover. You want to bring it over. And you want to squeeze the corners, the back end. You hear those big click sounds, the front, just clicking right there and once you're done with this you just want to put the rest of the screws on top first we put the two screws in the front the short ones and the long screws you want to put over the under the rubber and just put the rubber cover right over again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your storage for your hp240 g9 laptop if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in the video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom.